Peep, what is up ninjas? My name is Sam World, and you guys know I'm gonna take every opportunity I can to vlog. So today we are gonna be talking about five ways to market your music as I go about my day. Not a very exciting day, but I'll try and make it as exciting as possible for you guys. So if you are ready, let's go. All right guys, so first stop's gonna be the gym for me. Now I'll give you guys the first tip when it comes to music. First off, you guys have to treat music like a business. Yeah, just like any other business, where are your customers hanging out? Where are your the people that are gonna listen to you, to your music? Where are they getting their music from? Is it SoundCloud? Is it YouTube? Is it Spotify? Where are they? You know, where are they congregating like a cult? Like where are they, all these future bass heads that fucking hate big room? Where are they hanging around? If you're into big room, where where are big room people going to get their music? You're gonna get a couple of answers. Fucking bitch gonna be kind of like a, a strategy that you're gonna impose on yourself to get the attention of these listeners guest talk with Sam bro a lot of people are always saying that bigger music is dead and the funny thing about it is that as you guys know Kevu they make a living a living doing doing big room music and and the thing about this is that a lot of people always say oh if it's not popular you can make a living out of it but in reality you know, when it comes to business stuff as well, you're not going to try and be like, oh, I'm going to sell tacos, all kinds of tacos, and then expect it to be more like, you know, you're going to be able to dominate that market. A lot of people try and be very specific about how they're going to approach it. So they'll be like American tacos, Mexican tacos, Nicaraguan tacos, vegan tacos, those are mine. Uh, so, so there's still a possibility to do like big room music. Uh, you're not gonna get as much money if that's what you're into, but there's still a possibility to make a living out of it Shit, there's people still making money making trends. So so why wouldn't they be able to do that? All right, Ninja So I just got done with the gym and me and my girlfriend are on our way to buy some vegetarian stuff So you guys are gonna get to see that some of you guys were asking about that But let me give you guys tip number two when it comes to oh shit. What the fuck? Oh, sorry the guys the cops are chasing someone someone probably raped the master All right, guys, so back to tip number two. Tip number two is gonna be to have music that is ready. You know, a lot of people always ask me, yo, Sam, like, I wanna promote my music. You know, I want, to, I want to get more listeners, but then I hear their music and it's not even there yet. And if it does sound there, like it sounds professional, usually it sounds like somebody else. So pretty much, you know, tip number two, guys, is gonna be to pretty much have the music. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, 90% of the people that ask me that question, their music isn't there yet. They're, they're, you know, oh God, someone else raped the mix and master. Oh shit, what the fuck? See, that's what happens when you guys rape the master. DJ rape it. But yeah, guys, you can't expect to get fans if your music sounds like somebody else. You have to bring something new to the table, a new story, not just the same story of, you know, Little Red Robin Hood. Maybe it's Little Red Robin Hood you know, ran up on the wolf or on, you know, on that ninja. For those of you guys that ask where I live, that's, that's a sign. So just Google that and I'm sure you know where I live. My man, look at that little thing. <laughs> All right guys, so we're here at Sprouts. I actually lied. We are coming for my secret ingredient for fat mixes. Nah, I got the leaf. We're here and I lied. There's something here that's guaranteed to get you some very fat, fat mix downs. And uh, once we're inside, I'll show you guys what I mean. All right, my dudes, here is my secret ingredient. My man, Rick's fat beats. Tip number one was to find out where your audience is getting their music from. You know, where are they going? For instance, if I like burgers, I'm gonna go get my burger at McDonald's or I'm gonna go here and what. So once you find out where your audience is finding their new music from, you wanna make sure you have good music. That's tip number two, don't sound like anybody else. And if you're unique, you have a unique sound, make sure the unique sound sounds professional. It sounds loud, as loud as the other tracks that people are releasing in your genre. Now, tip number three is gonna be to be unique about the way you approach this, how you market it. For instance, let's say that you're making future bass and a lot of your fans, a lot of the potential fans, are finding new future bass music on YouTube. 
Well, you know these guys are probably watching blogs. You know, you know they're probably watching their favorite YouTubers. So, in order to promote your music, maybe what you can do is tell a YouTuber, "Hey, I'll pay you to use my song in your video." And let's say that your song is good and it's amazing, like it has everything it needs to be to be a good song, a unique voice. That, you know, you don't sound like anybody else. I promise you that if people are watching a blog video and they do these little cute little cutaway scenes and they play your music loud, they're probably gonna be like, "Yo, that song was dope." Where can I get that song? And they will go out of their day to try and find your song. That's the biggest type of advertising for your music promoting that you can do instead of going on Facebook and spamming everybody with a shitty video of a girl shuffling with your song on top of it or just hitting up everybody on your list. Hey, I just released my new song. Go check it out. That's tip number three, guys. Giving you guys some good shit. You know it, baby. Getting that Starbucks before we go into the studio, geez. All right, guys, so we're back in my studio now. Tip number one was to find out where your audience finds their music because if you know where they find their music, then you know how you can tackle promoting your music to them. Tip number two was to have the music ready to go. Don't sound like somebody else and sound professional. Tip number three, be unique about the way you promote your stuff. So don't just be any other person posting stuff up on SoundCloud and paying blogs to promote it because yes, well, that might work now and then. I think you can be more unique about it and get even more bang for your buck by doing something like hiring a blogger to use your song. And if it's a good song, trust me, people are gonna go crazy. Notice when I use Rudelize music, Rudelize's remixes, a lot of people ask, what's that song sent? And I promise you, every single person that found out who made that song, they're probably fans of Rudelize right now. All right guys, so tip number four is gonna be actually one that's one of the better ones in this video. Now, let's say you have an original song ready to go and you want to release it, but you're not that big of an artist. What do you do? Well, this is where tip number four comes into play. You make a remix of a very popular song that nobody is remixing or you just make it before everybody else and you post that up a week after, you know, before you release your original. You're gonna get a lot of foot traffic on that song more than if you were just to release your original because people are probably gonna be searching up for remixes of that song. Maybe they're going out to party and they want an amped up version of it. Now, as you're doing this, you're gonna be getting in a lot of plays and as you get those plays from being the first one to post it up, you're gonna rank higher on SoundCloud and on Spotify. Now, you upload your original, and as you're still getting these views, you know, week after week, the trickle down effect is going to be that the next song that plays is usually going to be your original that you just uploaded and you're going to get a lot of views for that and you might get a few new fans. So this really helps because you have the remix, you have the original and then the remix is going to get a trickle down effect. You can even Google trickle down effect for other things, you know, like in business we call that, um, the trickle down effect, but I don't know in what context I'm using here. I remember hearing it somewhere, but check it out. That's going to be tip number four. And finally guys, tip number five is gonna be to figure out a way for your song to play after a big song. Let's say Hardwell. For instance, let's say Hardwell has a song called Rhythm of the Night. Maybe you called yours Rhythm of the Night as well. And uh, once someone hears the Hardwell song, the next song that automatically plays is gonna be your song. That's the biggest thing you can have because let's say if your song, again, tip number two is good, that person's gonna be like, whoa, what song is this? Like that just played and they're gonna look and they're gonna see and they become a fan. And again guys, the biggest way to get a following, you know, is, is to have that impact on somebody that, you know, they're not expecting to find your music and then they find it on a blog or they find it you know this way you know and this is why I say it's very important guys for not to spam as well because I feel like it's not that effective so these are gonna be my five tips my camera's about to die but I hope that you guys enjoyed them let me know if you guys have any more tips below I know there's SoundCloud reposting that people do and all this stuff but I just wanted to make something a little bit more unique for this video these are gonna be my tips if I were an artist this is what I would probably look into into promoting my music of course make sure your brands on point but these are my five tips guys hopefully you guys enjoy them these five tips can also be pointed towards me on my YouTube videos I use them all the time that's why you see me doing how to make music like hardwell how to make music like yeah how to eq properly the bass i do things this way because i know that if someone looks up how to eq and edm bass my videos is the first one that's gonna pop up and this is how you grow a youtube channel as well anyways then just you guys take care and have an amazing day i hope you guys enjoyed the part of the blog i know it's kind of boring but hopefully you guys enjoy that make sure to subscribe if you haven't hit like and i'll see you guys next time Ready for the night in She's heading for